My name's Dave Dunlap, and I'm a director of photography in the movie and TV business, and have been doing it for quite a while. Well, when I was a teenager, I uh, hey, had a chance to go see the movie The Graduate. Are you listening? Just so you Plastics. I hadn't seen many sort of mature adult movies up until that point, so this one made quite an impact, so much so that I think I saw it three times in the first week it was out. Well, it's very comfortable just to drift here. I was too young to go see a movie like that, so it was um, a challenge to try to look old. The first job I got that really excited me, I was interested in a movie called After Hours that was a low-budget movie. It was going to be directed by Martin Scorsese. I heard through the grapevine that a German director of photography named Michael Ballhaus was going to shoot it. And I, uh, I really wanted to try to get an interview. At that time, I was in Los Angeles helping a friend who was getting a break as a DP for a director named Jonathan Demme. This was before cell phones, and at lunchtime, everyone got in line to use the one phone on the location. So I was in line. I finally got to the phone. And I called the producer of that film called After Hours. Of course, he didn't take my call, and I left a message. So when I hung up the phone, I was muttering under my breath that I'll never get that job anyway. So I left, and it turns out Jonathan was directly behind me in line. And the location manager came up to me about 10 minutes later and said, I don't know who you were talking to on the phone, but Jonathan Demi called him and recommended you. So I got the interview, and that job changed my career dramatically in that um, it, it was the first time I really realized that I could sort of play with the big kids, if that makes sense. When I first started, I knocked on a lot of doors and persistence and perseverance are key. The one thing I would tell people is, as your career builds, you'll find you have certain opportunities, but they may not be exactly what you want to do. It's funny in this business that you work on a, a number of projects, and not all of them are always terrific, either the experience or the end project. I would just remind people, at any given moment, always remember what your ultimate goal is, so then, as things are offered and you go down that road, you'll have more insight into not taking the wrong term and staying on course. And now that goal changes as your career changes, but it, it's important to persevere and go for whatever that goal is. I was fortunate enough to uh, be asked to do a movie called The Fabulous Baker Boys, which was a, a movie written and directed by uh, a fellow named Steve Clovis. I, love you, baby. I was the camera operator, and Michael Ballhaus, who was my mentor, was the director of photography. The movie, uh, its subject matter was something I was interested in, which was the music world. And the, the crew and the cast, we, um, we gelled really well and it was it was essentially one big family so it was just a, a wonderful experience where we all wanted to go to work every day uh, at this point in my life I, i'm still a working cinematographer director of photography my wife and i moved to just outside of Asheville, north carolina so now we're currently living in the blue ridge mountains on top of the mountain and uh, it's a a modest home in about a mile long dirt road. We have chickens and turkeys and dogs and cats and birds and um, I really love it. I, I do miss New York um, somewhat. What I really miss is the camaraderie of, of the people I've worked with over the years. Now living far away from New York, I don't get that on a permanent basis. But I do still travel for work, and an opportunity came my way that, that I just couldn't turn down, and that was to be a visiting professor 
at the University of North Carolina School of the Arts in Winston-Salem. This is my third year and I'm excited about it. Um, I, I never really planned on teaching, so when it happened I, I said yes and I've been delighted getting involved with the students and their projects and, and trying to just pass on whatever it is I know to pay it back so to speak.